Hi everybody, it's Kim. I am sharing a special message. I went to be a speaker yesterday um, with Kyle Boyd at the Quantum Healing Collective. Christian Frazier has a beautiful, beautiful center in Seekonk, Mass. So I was so excited since we're out here to get to meet those guys, Joe Longa and Kyle Boyd and like meet everybody in person. They are, um, can be so challenging because we don't often have tools for how to connect deeply at a mental emotional level like how do we synchronize with this person and a lot of what Kyle's done in his work has to do with heart math and uh, appreciating and working with the electromagnetics of the body so a lot in what I've been doing with health um, he's been doing with consciousness and helping people overcome addictions and so one of the things he said was oh we do a lot of um, exercises together that really synchronize our body you know for sexuality for partnering for creating together and it's made a huge difference and um, one of the things he said which I found with my partner as well my husband um, you know we'll be thinking the same thing at the same time or there we don't even need words because we're communicating our, our systems are synchronized and we're communicating a deeper level and I thought, this is so massive. I had shared last week that I would put some uh, an, an additional video in my Alive Woman course with what my husband and I do to connect and synchronize and really um, align. So our relationship is awesome. And I honestly can't even imagine if we didn't have these tools and we didn't know how to like work together to get aligned you know, electromagnetically, mentally, emotionally. Most people just understand the physical, like a sexual connection or, you know, hugs and, and holding each other, but you don't want that when you're not aligned energetically, right? If you're not aligned with someone and you can't really feel them, it's so hard to feel like you want to physically be near them. So I had um, shared that I'd be adding that into the course, but the announcement I wanted to make today is we're gonna um, do a video where Kyle and his partner, Leah, are gonna share what they've done, which is some heart math as a couple. So I've used a lot of heart math in my work to just align the body, allow the discharge and release of anxiety, depression, a lot of the stressors that cause disease. Um, and I hadn't learned a lot about how you would do that as a couple, like breathing into the heart, connecting with your body on a deeper level, and to do it as a couple. So he said, we'll love to share this. And I thought, let's make a video and put it in that course for people who are in the Alive Woman um, coursework to have that as a tool, because I think these are women who'd really be interested in that. So he and I are gonna chat later today in Instagram um, at five o'clock Eastern, somewhere around there, plus or minus. And he and Leah have committed to create that video to share what their practice is and um you know they've just shared it just really allows them to be in so much more of a harmony and a synchronicity i know this is true for what my husband and i have done um to create alignment it's it's magical it's amazing i honestly can't imagine being in a relationship with him without some kind of tools to create that so um for those of you hello everyone who's here live ricky and who else do I recognize? Laurence, beautiful. Hello, Kyle <laughs> is in here too. Um, so we, you can stay tuned later. I'll, I'll be sharing a broadcast with him. But if you are ready to join the Alive Woman course, we are running it more as like a home study DIY. Uh, but there is the Liquid Dance Facebook group. So I'll be connecting in there with you if you're in the Alive Woman course. It's at drkimd.com forward slash alive. And the course is really designed around um, understanding and balancing the masculine and feminine energies in the body. We do both have both of them, alpha and omega. And when these are out of alignment, like not only is your health really, really hard to get, you're like working your butt off to like make sure you avoid the foods and don't do the thing. And then your health is like eluding you. It's kind of a nightmare. Um, but also relationships especially are like just, whoa, how do I make my relationships work? Or your relationship with money or your work or whatever is happening in your life. Like you're going to be out of that harmony of the alignment of when you are in a balanced um, masculine, feminine energy within yourself. So um, the Alive Woman is really, there's specific videos in there about this and tools. Each one has a tool for how do you cultivate that rebalancing, whatever that may be for you. 
if you are interested in coming to the retreat that we have for this in September, there are a few spots left. Um, it's at drkimd.com forward slash alive, same link, whether you do the online portion, which is the Alive Woman course, or you'd also like to come to the live retreat in September, it'll be a really very powerful, life altering event. So you are invited to that. I would love to see you. Um, and yeah, if you have noticed challenges and maybe it's like increasing over the last few years as we accelerate in consciousness as the densities in our system are like coming up more and more you're like i can't handle doing my relationship this old way i can't handle doing marriage and that old um consciousness of just kind of trying to make it through or trying to just you know be more forgiving or be more fill in the blank like that's what i worked at for so many years it got me nowhere but when i learned to connect within myself and create alignment um, one of the really important things is it allows your life to match who you really are instead of like the default program you're playing. So if you're out of alignment and then you're like toughen it up to like pummel your way through, work harder, push harder, that's a masculine energy. But if it's not your nature, which for most women it's not, it's going to invite the opposite into your life, like a partner who's more Omega, kind of passive, maybe not like the, the, the go-getter, income earner, provider that you like really intended for. And then it's like, why am I always carrying the men in my relationships? Why are they always like, I'm the one carrying the baggage. I'm the one booking the hotel. I'm the one driving the car, so to speak. What's going on? Well, if you're finding that pattern, you may have been betrayed in the past where you may have, um, you know, been abandoned in the past or abused. Uh, a live broadcast. I will see you very soon. Bye.